before the video even starts, I, I just want to say that I'm sorry to those of you who were expecting this video sooner. I've been sitting on 600 gigabytes of footage and it's been about three months. I know I'm not the first one to make a video about making a, a big group on Rust, and I know Charborg, shout out to Charborg, made a video about something similar and complained about similar things, but I feel that his group was too small to really highlight the issues that becoming Zerg comes along with. You, got, yeah, you, just, you just down me, there's four guys coming straight from our, like, where we're, where we're at. The key to a successful Zerg is communication, especially with a game like Rust. If you have a large group and there's multiple things going on and you're not listening to what's going on or you're not um, listening to orders, so to speak, um, you're not going to get very far. And that's eventually what ended up happening, Was uh, especially in this situation here. Um, we weren't successful when there were six of us against the group of four, we could have easily wiped that group of four if we had just regrouped and listened to what was going on. Hey, does anybody have any metal tools? Another major issue that we had was loot. As a big group, you would think that we would have mountains and mountains of loot. And we did, but for nine people, there wasn't enough to go around, and some of us ended up more geared than others while the base was decaying. Organized. Oh. We've got metal bag. Pick it up. Metal bag. I got. Double barrel. Ooh. We need some. I'm back and I'm drunk. Alright, here I got you. Metal bag. Yep. Ground right there. Oh my God. We have so much shit. I thought the base was going to be bigger. Yeah, this is not much bigger than the other base. The thing that bothered me the most, especially as a builder, was the space. And with at least max 10 people in some random YouTuber's base layout that was meant for 3 people, space ended up being a luxury that we couldn't afford. Wait, what? You want to offline them? No, let's go flame raid. Oh yeah, I definitely want to offline these guys. <laughs> and then leave, leave a note on one of their bodies saying you should have let us join. I personally believe that relations with one another is very important, especially when it comes to Rust. And when you're in a voice chat with eight other people, you can't really form those relations to get along or know the other person and how they work. We like you, we have two faggot buddies too. You fucked up, bitch. You fucked up! You're the one that's dead. That's dead. In the beginning we did have a major turnover, but after the first day, nobody was willing to stick it out and see where the Zerg goes. So we had some people that learned blueprints, but those people after day one never came back on. My fucking god. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> crouch and then jump. <laughs> Be crouched and then there you go. In the end, the guy did have a great idea, but he didn't really follow through with a lot of the things. His structure and idea on how to lead people really fell apart towards the end of the group. And if he had uh, employed more people to help him out instead of taking all that responsibility himself, maybe more people would have stayed. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of this new video structure. It's definitely something new and definitely something I did enjoy see come together. If you could leave a like or comment your criticisms down below, I'd greatly appreciate that.